We got ruptured rocket parts and espionage accusations. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET update. Although it looked like a picture-perfect launch, one of the engines of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket failed about a minute after takeoff. The other engines compensated to help the launch succeed. This is the second supply ship SpaceX launch to the International Space Station. The first one, back in May, was a test flight. This is the first operational flight under that $1.6 billion contract it has with NASA. Since the space shuttles were retired, this is how NASA will be transporting supplies and experiments back and forth between Earth and the space station. United States lawmakers are strongly encouraging American companies to not do business with Huawei and ZTE, two Chinese companies that make telecommunications gear. The House Intelligence Committee released a 52-page report accusing the two companies as posing a national security threat because their equipment could be used to help the Chinese government spy on American companies or individuals. Although there was no proof that these companies did steal any data, it was discovered that some ZTE equipment allowed for undetectable backdoor access into a network. ZTE said that was a bug. And there were also cited examples of routers turning on in the middle of the night and sending data packs to China without any explanation. The questions surround large-scale network gear, not something consumers would buy. But Huawei and ZTE have also just begun selling smartphones in the U.S. Certainly this report might also damage its future as a smartphone maker. Apple hasn't even announced the existence of the iPad mini, yet we already have reports from analysts that the iPad mini is going to have a better design than the most recent iPad. Also, the Wall Street Journal says that part makers in Asia have orders to make more than 10 million units of the iPad mini. That's about double the amount Amazon ordered for the Kindle Fire. Beware of promises made by Motorola. Last year, the company promised to upgrade three of its phones to the Android Ice Cream Sandwich operating system. The AT&T Atrix 4G, the Sprint Photon 4G, and the Electrify on U.S. Cellular. Now Motorola says it won't upgrade them without explanation. People buy phones specifically if there's a promise to be able to get an upgrade. Looks like you can't even trust Motorola, which is, you know, owned by Google. In today's app to watch, we're looking toward a galaxy not so far away. A new Star Wars themed Angry Birds game will arrive on November 8th. The birds take on the personalities of the Star Wars heroes. The red bird is like Luke Skywalker. And as you can guess, the pigs will play characters like Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers. That's your tech news update for today, but we have more details on today's stories at the blog CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.